In Slovakia, we make medovničky, honey cookies. They have a really long tradition and today I wanted to share this tradition with you, showing you how to make these beautiful and delicious treats. You can uh, make them plain, undecorated, or you can also decorate them with royal icing. They are very simple to make. And here I have my spices that I'll be using. I like to use star anise. This is star anise if you haven't seen it before. This is how it comes when it's whole. And I'm using sage and cinnamon, cloves, and uh, ground ginger. And to prepare my star anise, I like to use whole star anise, star anise and I like to ground it myself using mortal and pestle. It's quite easy, it's not um, all that difficult. Um, you can also buy star anise ground, but I find that its flavor diminishes over time, so it's best to prepare it fresh every time. And all you have to do is sift it through a fine mesh sieve and you'll be left with a fine powder that you can use in your cookies. And um, here I'm just adding all the spices together. So this is my star anise. This is my sage and cinnamon. A um, little bit of cloves and some ground ginger. And just stir it together. You can also add other, other spices. There are a lot of spices used in these. Some people use white pepper, cardamom and others as well. And now I'm going to prepare my flour mixture. So here I'm, uh, I'm measuring uh, all-purpose flour. And then uh, to this you need to add one teaspoon of baking soda, pinch of salt, and all the spices that we prepared before. And just sift it to a large bowl. And to prepare wet ingredients, I want you to whisk two eggs together and then we're going to add our honey. So here I'm just spraying the measure um, with some nonstick spray or you can also use oil. It helps to release honey and just spoon three tablespoons of honey into the egg. And now I'm going to mix uh, room temperature butter with powdered sugar. Um, just let it beat for a few moments until it's smooth and then you can start adding your egg mixture. If you see that the mixture looks like it's curdled or it doesn't come together quite nicely, uh, you can uh, replace the attachment and use a wire beater and just continue adding all the wet ingredients. It may take a few minutes to get the mixture really creamy. And once it's creamy, you can then again replace the attachment for the paddle attachment and we can start adding our flour mixture. And you want to add the flour mixture having the mixture on low speed and gradually add all the flour. The cookie dough will be kind of dense, but not too dense. It should be, you know, just right. And then, and then I want you to dump it onto a work surface or into a large bowl. And then um, you just need to knead it for a few moments until it comes together. And then... Um, we're going to let this dough uh, rest for a few hours. It's best to rest, let it rest overnight. So uh, what I like to do is I like to wrap it in a plastic wrap and then uh, I will put it in the fridge and um, I'll come later and we'll make cookies. So let it rest overnight or at least two or three hours, I would say. And here I'm preparing my egg wash before I start making my cookies. And I like to strain my egg wash to remove any large particles because I don't like to have any egg whites there when I brush my cookies. And just set this aside. 
and this is my cookie dough that uh, just came from the fridge and this is what it looks like inside so you need to take a little piece and then knead it oh and here I'm using again wooden sticks but for honey cookie dough I'm using only one wooden stick on each side not two like for my sugar cookie dough depending on how big of cookies are you making if you are making larger cookies you wanna uh, roll the dough a little thicker but I, I will make uh, cookies that are fairly small so I don't need to roll it too thick and if it's sticking you can add a little more little bit flour Oh, and before I forget, make sure you preheat your oven to um, 390 degrees of Fahrenheit or uh, about 200 degrees of Celsius. And then cut out the cookies. This cookie is really easy to work with. It doesn't really stick to your hands. It comes out nicely when you cut it. And then place the cookies on a baking sheet that you lined with parchment paper. The cutter I'm using here is a leaf cutter. It's from a, a Wilton set. And once the cookies are baked after about six to eight minutes, I like to brush them with uh, the egg wash we, prepare, we prepared earlier. Just make sure that you, you don't let the egg wash drip all over the cookies because you'll end up with a baked egg on the bottom and you don't want that. You don't have to brush them with egg wash at all if you don't want to. It just egg wash gives them that nice shine some people are looking for. And this is what they look like inside. They are great with coffee or tea. Um, you can eat them alone or decorated, undecorated. It's really up to you. You can add a little walnut on the top. They are really yummy. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.